Yeah man, welcome to another dance hall top 5 craziest rumors. This episode features none other than dance hall artist Tommy Lee. Yeah, and people also, me not tell them like, me see the request them for do the massacre top 5 craziest rumors. You see me, me work on it, no worry on yourself. The video soon up and running. Yeah man, so if you kick off things the right and proper way, dance hall controversial artist. Tommy Lee Sparta and his longtime manager, Junior Evidy Fraser, has ended their professional ties. So, what um, people? Evidy basically put out a statement saying he's no longer responsible for Tommy Lee, you see me? They must say basically the mutual agreement come to a close. So, what um, Evidy really keep things under cover because he never really want to admit the reason why him and Tommy Lee have split, you see me? So, Evidy basically say, yo, the reason why them split is because the whole part of trouble with Tommy Lee basically have with the law. You see me? It's kind of difficult for them to have a, a, a mutual agreement when they have problems with the law. Tommy Lee just do an interview and basically Tommy Lee say, yo, every day never let go him. This is what Tommy Lee had to say. Even Heavy D dropped Tommy Lee. Something is up with this kid. This kid is bad news. And maybe he even has sort of criminal every day associations. Every day don't drop Tommy Lee. I really can drop Tommy. Yes, I really just have some problem. I will just decide to say I'll move on. I'm put all this and drop me for charge Jay Manager. And every day can drop me. Yes, I mean? He must have charged Jay Manager when he did that. Yes, I mean? He can't drop me. I'm gonna pay every day for work. You know, understand? Every day don't pay me. I'm not signed to every day. People, when you remember the voice note where, where Tommy did put out. Oh, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not the voice note that Tommy Lee put out, the voice note that got leaked with Tommy Lee and the producer, the other producer with him, something like J.R. Dingler or something like that. You remember that, that, that little voice note? Well, in another voice note there, eh, you can hear Tommy Lee at this vibes cartel. Let me play it for you now. So if my next start, so if my next start, so if my next it's the more Christian, man. Does that more, you know? Cartel is the more Christian right now to my rage. Just be like a delinger, chat chat off him out. They don't link me already and tell me to so link him and beat him. I know everything. Well, word on the streets after that voice note, isn't me? Cartel never too happy with the facts of your family try to diss him on the voice note. I read for the incarcerated dancehall artist Vibes Cartel basically say Word Boss and Tommy Lee should not even mention in the same sentence because there is no comparison and Tommy Lee need to know himself and stop calling up the boss name. The rep also had it that Vibes Cartel hear the voice note and he want Tommy Lee to worry about the money that him hold the boss before Slim pay him another visit. Rumor number three is the Mavado versus Tommy Lee situation, right? This rumor has been circulated online that Mavado refused to share the stage with Tommy Lee's partner because of rivalry between the two artists. Well, people posted online that Mavado refuses to leave the, his hotel based on Tommy Lee's popularity in Guyana and had some concern about who was to close the show. All of this happened in the year 2013. However, um, basically my father camp reached out to Tommy Lee camp. Basically, just to actually prove that the rumor was actually false. It was very untrue. Because both campers stepped forward to address allegations that Mavada did not perform on the annual Slingers Caribbean Summer Jam in Guyana last weekend. Mavada blamed the promoter for his no-show. However, the promoter blamed Mavada claiming that he refused to perform because of Tommy Lee. So there you have it. The rumor has been started by the promoter because Mavada did not come to the show. Rumor number two. This rumor has been started by no other than Tommy Lee himself. Yeah, you guessed it. Tommy Lee basically say yo, Alkaline and Vibes Cartel take him style. See interview ya. Yeah. What's still working for you as a DJ? My, my style. Tommy Lee, my style. Tommy Lee. Remember saying you know, every artist was boss after me, you know, have a piece of me in you know, them. You know. You see me? And my image run down the you know. You see me? Everybody work off a of Tommy Lee image. Everybody. Alkaline, Vibes Cartel, everybody a Tommy Lee image them work off of. I'm a color, I'm a tattoo, them, I'm a rope twist, I'm a thing, you see me? Everybody at Tommy Lee, man, they want to be like, man, believe me. Yo, either the man delusional or the man have things back way. Because the man say, yo, everybody who was after him, I run with him style. So, oh, him name Vibes Cartel. Tommy Lee, remember the Vibes Cartel was the man who introduced it to the world. Obviously, you would more likely run with theme style. Yo, Tommy Lee have a most vice note leak. So, basically, obviously, the number one rumor is Tommy Lee and his leak vice note of him crying. 
Look up in the sky, tears fall from her eyes. Me nah go play the whole voice note, people. Me nah go play a piece of the voice note. Does it mean I say? And me nah go summarize the whole voice note in a nutshell. Nah, you want to be a prayer for you with all that good for prayer, dog. You want to bring me to wicked you, my dear, dog. The man. The road, the man, the man, good at me to my team since night, my youth. Come on, you know, and you might attack it to her, I don't have to be too deep, you would. Yeah, I might have to be too deep, dog, God knows. Yeah, I don't know, 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 a guy, a man called Slim, to shoot off a family because family wasn't paying the money that was owed to him. That was what the Vice Note was suggesting. And the fact that Vibes Cartel bought so much artists and in the long run he actually lose half of them. So that was what the Vice Note was suggesting. Tamily was basically crying because he was shocked or surprised that, that the fact that Vibes Cartel would do something like that to him. Well, there you have it, the top 5 craziest rumors for Tamily. Leave some feedbacks on what you think about Tamily's top 5 craziest rumors and the next featured artist will be none other than Massacre on the next episode.